Welcome back to Marketing Champions. I'm Howard Walpuff, your host here on Daily Ad Brief. Again, we're talking about marketing from around the country with great marketers working with their clients to get their messages out there. Today, we're focusing on Miami, Florida, not too far from us here in Jacksonville with Roberto Fonfria from El Autobus. So, Roberto, welcome to the conversation today. Hi, how are you? We're good. Thanks for joining us. So, you've been involved in marketing for a while. You definitely have uh, some great successes in your career. Why don't you tell us how you got started? Yeah, actually, we we have our agency at Autobus uh, since 2008 here in Miami. But we started in Venezuela, uh, and, and then we moved here. We opened operations here. And yeah, I mean, before that, uh, I guess it's probably the same path that many people have. I started working in large agencies. I was a uh, creative VP for DDV in Caracas for eight years. And eventually, yeah, I decided to open my own shop. And we started there in Venezuela. And because of all the things happening, I mean, obvious reasons, political, economical, eventually we decided to open an office here in Miami. And then things started growing very quickly here. So we moved the whole operation here. I moved here, my, my business partner also. And yeah, we opened our, our creative agency and a production company. Well, it's definitely a very exciting adventure in, uh, in, in going from one country to the next and really changing your, your, your location, obviously allowing yourself to grow bigger and to, to attract different types of clients. Um, what is it that you focus on that really is being successful for your clients right now? Yeah, we focus mainly on the Hispanic market of the US. And I think that uh, the knowledge that we have coming from Latin America and being here in Miami, it's obviously a great link from clients that have operations in Latin America, but also for US uh, uh, brands that want to connect with Hispanic markets. And uh, that with the fact that we are mainly a strategic and creative company we do creative content for social media video and all media so we find a way to engage with people and with the hispanic market having the knowledge and the insights to really connect with them and also we have a, a, a team here of people that are mostly second or third generation hispanic so that give us like a broader view on, on how to connect with the consumer while at the same time having the vision that we have building our own our, our, our own career in latin america and in venezuela and having that different point of view that maybe in my for us here in miami is something that it's easier to understand but we have many national clients that really need to have that knowledge and find that way to connect with the latin culture in a way that it's engaging and natural so is it challenging or is it are you working with people who are who are directly budgeting for a Hispanic market to get people to spend their dollars within the, the work that you're doing and, and, and place it to really address the, the Hispanic communities in the country? Both. I think that uh, the focus of, of our most of our clients, like we work, for example, for PepsiCo or Spotify, which are brands that have specific budget and specific teams focused in the Hispanic market. But we're also trying to help other clients that for them, this is like a new adventure and this is something that they are really finding it as an opportunity to grow and they want to, to open uh, go to market strategies from scratch. And those clients are, are more challenging in, in the way that we need to really help them uh, understand the way that their brand can easily communicate to the Hispanic market in, in an engaged and natural way. But I would say that, that the focus of our business right now is mostly clients that are already communicating and, and already have a specific budget for multicultural uh, campaigns. Which is obviously makes things a little bit easier for you to, to uh, get a direction going for the, for the whole campaign itself. Um, but as time has gone on, marketing has changed somewhat. Where do you see the direction of Hispanic marketing going over the next couple of years? Yeah, I think there are two, two key issues there. One is that uh, right now, large brands are looking for ways to adapt in their, their current national campaigns to the Hispanic market instead of just creating like a new path of communication. And we've seen that, for example, we, we've been working with uh, 
stellar to I in taking their European and national campaigns and, and trying to find ways to make it work for the Hispanic consumer. And that means creating a new strategy, but not going too far away for the, from their overall communication. So that's something that I think that's the, the way to go and to make that work. And that this is the second point. You really need to understand like the nuances of the Hispanic market and understanding that there are a lot of different people inside this thing that we call the Hispanic market and the Latin or Latinx consumer. So understanding the, the, the minor differences of this group of people really help in developing specific campaigns for social media and digital and, and the way that you use that data in order to take a global communication strategy and turn it into something that can really connect to the Hispanic consumer. Which is exactly why going to an agency like El Autobus is very important to make sure you're getting the right message across to the right audience. So we sh love that you shared all this information with us and a great education on, on the, the, this marketing to the Hispanic market. So thank you very much for joining us today. No, thank you so much for the opportunity. And thank you all for joining us as well. This was fascinating. I could spend a lot more time uh, with Roberto right now asking a lot of different questions about really reaching this Hispanic market in the right way. But there's more information you can learn on dailyadbrief.com. So go out, have a great rest of today, and we'll see you next time on Marketing Champions.